Hello, good people, and welcome to Excel Hacks for Productivity. One trick, two minutes to learn, hours saved every day. In this short video, we are going to learn how to use the choose function to switch between formulas. Excel has a function called choose. And this is used to pick a value or an action from a list. But to determine which list or action you want to pick, you need to put in an index number. So example, I have type A, B, C, D and E. In this arrangement, A has the position 1, B2 and so on. I can use the choose function to pick a particular type based on the position I have here. So example, when I bring the choose function and I bring index number 1, I'll bring my comma and then follow it up with the list of values. So here, you need to pick the values cell by cell. So A, then you hold down the control key, B, so the control key held down, C, D, and E. So here, what I'm basically asking for is that in these list of values, I want to return the one that has position number one. So when I enter, I get A. To make it more dynamic, you can back out this manual input one and then assign it to a cell. So here, I'm going to put my switch somewhere here. So initially it's going to give me an error, but when I put in one to switch to A, when I put in four, it will switch to D. So that is how the choose function works. An index which directs what action or value should be picked from a list. What we want to do is to use the same choose function to switch formulas. So I have a list of prizes. In one cell, I want to see the maximum in this list of prizes and with a switch also see the minimum in this list of prizes. Again, I can use the choose function. So here, I'll do equal to choose and then I'll temporarily put my index number here. So here, I'll put in one or two to choose max or min. So one will be max, two will be min. So I'll bring my comma. So the first option or the first choice is my max formula. So I'll put in max Max simply returns the maximum value in a list. So max, and then I'll go and select this range. So if I choose one, this should be the value it should return. For option two, I'll do a min. So I'll do that. And then, so basically what I'm asking is a max or min based on what I put in there. So I'll close my final brackets. This should give me a black and then this will give me an error but when i put in one here i'm looking for the maximum value but when i put in two it returns the minimum value so the choose function is quite helpful especially when you want to use it to switch between formulas or choose an action or a value from a list please practice and add it to your list of excel tricks for more videos, please visit our YouTube channel, Excel Hacks for Productivity, or our Facebook page, Excel Hacks for Productivity. If you want to be part of our WhatsApp broadcast list, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number. Videos are sent on Mondays and Fridays. Thank you and have a wonderful day.